The NCAA tournament. That's always fun, people. But what's kind of more fun, a little bit more of a fun? Bowl games. Finding out who's going to what bowls. The good news is there is another team added to the bowl list for the Big 12 uh, docket. The bad news is it was the Oklahoma State Cowboys who had just five wins going into going into Norman a few weekends uh, to last weekend and just came in and took it to Oklahoma. Just like we just like they had the lead all the way through the game last two years ago, won it no and we won it in overtime. They did the same thing to us. We had the entire game in hand, and then they came and got us in overtime. How did it happen? And well, we'll get to that coming up next on Boomer Sooner 1982. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> Before we even get to it, uh, congratulations to Oklahoma State. You guys played a good ball game, a tough ball game. Uh, great fans uh, from there, a lot of them. There are some that you know that, that just don't like Oklahoma, and I respect that. And there are some that uh, that just feel that way. Uh, some of them have gotten on here and, and typed in some some things uh, like "Where's your post game report? Do you really know you fan?" Blah blah blah. To let y'all know, I, I you know I just had some things to go through last week. Uh, apologize for that. Um, but here's the one that y'all have been waiting on: the post game report. Um, statistically, uh, passing the ball. Um, Mason Rudolph making his second ever uh, Big 12 start and first Bedlam start. Went for 273 yards, two touches, and a pick in the upset as uh, Cody Thomas for Oklahoma threw for 120 yards and one touchdown, but no Apple turnovers as far as picks are concerned. Uh, rushing the ball. Mister, I'm not going to let us lose another one. He said that in the post-game remarks two years ago. Uh, finally, finally stood up and st stood up for that. Desmond Rowland, 18 carries, 70 yards, and two touches in the ball game for the rushing statistics for uh, Oklahoma State. Rushing-wise for Oklahoma, Samaj P. Ryan, again another another tough game for him. 26 attempts. For 155 yards and two touchdowns in the ball game, did have that costly fumble to um, uh, on, on the hit uh, by Oklahoma State defensive backs. Uh, receivers: Oklahoma State's Shepard, Brandon Shepard, had three catches for 27 yards and a touchdown. For Oklahoma, the receiver of the game was Blake Bell, who had two catches, 59 yards, and zero uh, TDs. Uh, defensive de defensive standouts uh, for Oklahoma State. Larry Stevens wearing the orange and black. 14 total tackles and the fumble recovery of the Samaj P. Ryan fumble. Uh, for Oklahoma, Jordan Evans. Nine tackles for the uh, second generation Sooner. And uh, kicking field goals. Uh, ben Grogan, one for one for 21 yards in OT. And also in OT, Michael Honeycutt, 0 for 1, missed a 
four yarder. Uh, punting wise, Kip Smith and Jed Barnett. Kip Smith had uh, seven attempts for 34.9 points in uh, punt and average, 44 along, three landed inside the 20 yard line. While Jed Barnett had six attempts, 37.5 in average, 45 along, and zero landed at the 20 yard line. So how did the upset what happened? Well, it all started, like I said, like we all expected it to, with the Crimson and Cream going up on top. With tw because with 12-15 left, Samaje P. Ryan scores his first of two touchdowns, 7-0 Sooners in the first quarter. Then Desmond Rowley in a one-yard touchdown run with 8.32 left, ties the game 7-all in Norman. Jump to the second quarter. We're in the second quarter. Aaron Rakowski gets a one-yard touchdown run to, uh, to to untie the ball game. 14-7 at this time with 11.57 left. The Sooners back on top. But then Mason Rudolph finds their shepherd, Brandon Shepherd, 39 yards up the field on a 39-yard touchdown pass. With 9.24 you left, tying the ball game 14-14. Samaje Piran says we're not done yet as he gets his second touchdown run of the ball game. With Samaje Piran get a 9-yard touchdown run to untie the ball game again with 6.53 left. 21-14 Oklahoma Sooner Boomers. Then with 3.09 left, Cody Thomas finds Aaron Rutkowski for a 2-yard screen yard for a two-yard screen pass with 3.09 left. 28-14 Sooners will take that to the to halftime and all the way through the third quarter. But in the fourth quarter, here come the Cal Pokes. Desmond Rowland, three-yard touchdown run to get them a little closer. 21-28, but Sooners still in favor. Then Aaron Rutkowski, the rep. Rip scores a touchdown with 7.54 left, making it 35-21 Oklahoma. Then Oklahoma State's Shepard stands up again as Mason Rudolph finds him. 43-yard touchdown pass to make it 28-35 with 4.51 left. Oklahoma, though, still in charge. Until there were 45 seconds left to go in the game and in the four, or at least in regulation in the fourth quarter, Jeb Barnett gets a punt to Tyree Kill, who takes it from the eight yard line for a 92 yard punt return for a touchdown. Ball game is tied 35 35, and for the second straight year in Norman, and two out of the last three years. We're going to OT. And in the OT, Michael Honeycutt on Oklahoma's possession missed a 44-yard field goal, keeping the score tied 35-35. Oklahoma State does get possession next. They score a 21-21-yard field goal 20, uh, to make it 35-38. And the Cowboys are going bowling off of a Jed or Ben Grogan field goal. Hypo type of the game was when Cody Thomas completed a pass to the tight end Blake Bell for 47 yards to the 21-yard line. He also had a pretty remarkable one-handed catch in there also. That, but we're giving him the 47-yard reception. Defensive stop of the game was when Zach Sanchez intercepted the pass late in the fourth quarter. And that actually happened on the... Uh, Drive before the punt. So, that happened. Uh, the helmet stickers for this game. Offensively, Aaron Rokowski gets one. Uh, Rokowski, the fullback, uh, tight end out of Kansas. Defensively, Jordan Evans with nine tackles. With the loss, Oklahoma is still going bowling. Where they will play Clemson in Orlando in the bowl, in the bowl season. We'll do a preview of Oklahoma and uh, Clemson for the Athletic Bowl. That's coming up soon. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching.
Hope you guys enjoyed them. I did this year. Uh, getting ready for ARC and next year, I guess, uh, until the bowl season. Uh, find me on Facebook and Twitter. Tweet me at SoonerFanOK okay, or find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, Boomer Sooner, everybody. Take care.